Do do di. It's Nandi. Hello, friends, and welcome. Today we're doing a double video in preparation for the Onshi character release. This video is going to focus on Onshi's legendary event and show you the traits required to unlock him. I'll also provide the usual infographics I do in preparation for these events for you to download and share with your friends. If you're watching this video and haven't yet seen the character preview video, I'd encourage you to check out my YouTube channel. In that video, I'll provide gameplay footage and analysis of Onshi. I'll also dissect his kit and show you how he interacts with other powerful characters in the game. So we'll start the video off with a giveaway, and thank you to all of you who entered the lucky draw. We had well over 800 comments, and unfortunately we only had three prizes to give out. In first place, winning 150 Eldrion shards is Paul Taylor. Paul uh, missed out on Yarrick when he started the game, um, but he has one character on the Dirty Dozen list. Well, congratulations Paul, now you have two, hopefully. And you've got Eldrion, who I believe is the strongest character in the game. Our two runners-up are Jonah Martin, who talks about the synergies between different characters and how the Eldari synergize particularly well together in order to compound their usefulness. And the other winner is Mad Max, who's just enjoying the content. Congratulations to both of you. You both are winners of 50 Eldrion shards. I've replied to your original comments on the Dirty Dozen video with instructions about how to get in touch with me and redeem those codes, so please just check in there and follow those instructions. Congratulations again to all three of you, and thank you for everyone else for taking part. Uh, this will be a regular feature that we do monthly with the Dirty Dozen videos, so I hope to see some of you again. We'll now look at the Onshi Philosophies of War legendary event. You'll notice there are three traits. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, each with their own unique traits and faction restrictions. I'll take a look at each of them in turn, starting with Alpha. For each of these sections, there is always a restriction in terms of factions we're not allowed to use. For the Alpha section, that means we cannot use any Orcs. In terms of traits for this section, we can look at each in turn. Full Piercing, Full Melee, and then two traits that look at the number of ranged attacks a character hits with. So the first is a maximum of two hits on their ranged attack, and the second is a minimum of three hits on their ranged attack. If they have no ranged attack, then it looks at the character's melee attack. And the wording on this is slightly different to what we've seen in the past. Finally, no physical damage is the final trait. Next, we look at the beta section where the restrictions are that we cannot use any of the Imperial factions. In terms of traits for this section, we look at each in turn. Full Mechanical, No Resilient, Full Melee, Physical Damage, and No Summons. One thing to point out here is that not all traits are made equal. For example, No Summons only gives you 45 points, but if we compare that with Full Mechanical, that's 105 points. This should intensivize you to build certain characters over others in case you want to make maximal progress in the Onshi event. The next section we're looking at is the Gamma section, and here the restricted factions are no chaos factions. In terms of traits, we see full physical damage for the second time, no flying, no overwatch, no power damage, and a maximum of one hit. Don't worry if you didn't catch all of that. As usual, I have a couple of infographics here to help break things down further. What you're seeing now on the screen is the first of two infographics and is the one that I personally like more. You can see all of the characters that are currently in the game and the corresponding score for using that character in the legendary event. As an example, we can look at Makotep from the Necrons. He scores very highly, in fact the highest in the event, because he fulfills several trait requirements. He does physical damage, which is a trait that scores 220 points over the entire event. That is more than any other single trait. I think this infographic is really useful if you're approaching the event for the first or second or third time. You might say to yourself that Onshi is a character you're really interested in unlocking, and want a quick, easy visual to tell you who's going to score you the most points in terms of making future progress. 
You can think about a character like Makotep, who we've just spoken about, one of the Eldari or Tau characters, or possibly even one of the two orcs that do physical damage and build them up accordingly. There are also some of you that have a widely developed roster and want to use your existing characters efficiently. For those of you in that group, I have this second infographic. What I've done here is made an effort at grouping traits together. This way you can plan a strategy that involves a team of characters that share common traits in order to make more efficient progress through the event. For example, let's look at the alpha section. Here we can use popular characters like Eldrion, Archimatos, Yarrick, and Shozail to simultaneously complete the no physical and max two ranged hits traits. As usual, I'll provide a link to this document in the description below, so that you can download and tailor it towards your own roster. I'll briefly go through each section in turn and explain why I've highlighted the recommended characters. In Alpha, we know that Eldrion is the best character in the game, especially if you've watched my Dirty Dozen series. Other characters like Yarrick, Archie and Aleph Null are strong characters from the Summoner's meta. The remainder here, characters like Angrax, Harkin, and Varro are mainstays of their campaign and should already be reasonably leveled. For the beta section, this, the restriction is that no Imperial characters are allowed. Mechanical is one of the dominating traits in this section and you'll therefore see a lot of Necron characters highlighted. Aleph Null excels in particular due to the healing ability. The other trait that you're seeing here is the physical damage trait. Physical damage is one of the rarer damage types in the game, and there are only five characters that meet this trait in the beta section. If you want to make good progress, you'll have to heavily invest in these characters. Finally, we look at the gamma section, where the restriction is that no chaos characters are allowed. Again, here we see that the physical damage trait is required, showing how important it is to level these characters in order to make progress. The maximum one hit trait also has a small pool of available characters that you'll need to focus on in order to be successful. So there you have it, hopefully short and sweet, but also equally useful. I hope you enjoy these infographics and they allow you to tailor your roster and resource management into maximizing your progress in this legendary event. As always, I'll include a link to these infographics in the video description below for you to download and share with your friends. I'd like to end on two notes, and the first is a big thank you to you, my viewers, for continuing to come here and support me. I've been doing this for just over two months and I'm about to hit the 900 subscriber mark. I genuinely still cannot believe where we are today. If you are newer to the game and have scope to use your refer friend code, it would really go a long way towards supporting me if you could consider using my code on the screen. If you can't, honestly, don't worry. Just the fact that you're here and part of this amazing experience is great and I'm so thankful for that. Finally, just a shout out to the Pants of Horus cluster. We are a 19 guild strong cluster ranging from competitive to casual. We've spoken a lot about traits in this video and I believe the unifying trait amongst our guilds is a fun and friendly environment where players get lots of good advice and strategy in order to move from success to success. Please consider checking us out and feel free to tag me when you join and I'll come by and say hello. That's it. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I hope that you all have a lovely day. Enjoy on Shi, the newest legendary character coming to the game. Doo -doo -dee. It's Nandi!